everyone this is Amy welcome today to my channel today I'm going to show you how I do a very simple design using a flat brush I'm going to be using two a magic flat brushes a 16 and a 12 a little pouncer or dauber it's um, these are I don't even know if you can get these anymore but these are Martha Stewart but anything that you can make a circle with or a dot in the center of your flower it doesn't necessarily have to be one of these and a fine liner by Westonia. Paints I use are always folk art paints, mixture of um, multi-surface and enamels. If I'm doing painting on glass, I should clarify that because I do paint, do watercolors as well. I'm going to be using tea berry, baby pink, and thicket. Whoops, sorry. Along with evergreen. And then two different yellows, school bus yellow and bumblebee. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this design is going to be created just using single colors of paint. So first I'm going into the baby pink. And just loading it as much as I can. And then I'm going to come over to the bottle. The bottle's already been cleaned off. I'm just going to do quick little strokes that come towards the center. Now with this design you can space them out a little bit. You can make them longer, thicker than the mixture. That's up to you. So if you see, you know, some of them are longer, some of them are shorter, some of them are thicker, fatter. That's by design. Okay. And if you want to go all the way around the flower in one direction, you can. I just kind of eyeball it and go around wherever I see fit. And I am going to work in threes. I like to work in odd numbers. So just keep in mind too, the more pressure you put down on your brush, I have it on the chisel edge. The more I press down, the thicker my petals are going to be. If I keep it, you know, straight up and just do quick little swipes like that, then it's going to be thinner. All right, so I'm just going to kind of pull the extra paint off my brush. If I have a paper towel, which I don't have one down here, um, I could, you know, wipe it off with that. But I'm not cleaning it in between. Going to go with the tea berry next. So I'm just dipping that brush in, getting the paint on the brush. Then I'm going to come back up here to the top one, do the basically the same thing. And you can try to go in between the petals that you already painted, or you can go over them, doesn't matter. They overlap if you go between however you want to create your design up to you but you're basically doing the same thing as you did with the first layer all right and then we'll come back in add the second layer to the next flower and continue on. I'm going to wipe the excess paint off of that brush, not cleaning it. I'm going to come in here to my white and just add and add more paint as I go along and still doing the same thing. I can have long strokes that come in from the outside. I can do I wanted to just create a flower with maybe smaller strokes just around the center I could do that but I'm just going to keep them all basically about the same and keep in mind too when you're doing this by doing it this way you're going to have a thick coverage of paint which will add into the durability of your design which is important Maybe not as important as it would be if 
you were using this as a drinking glass or painting on a drinking glass I should say you wouldn't be using this as a drinking glass I hope uh, but thicker paint coverage gives you more du durable designs you don't want to be too thick where they end up bubbling up when you're baking them but you know again a nice thick coverage gives you better durability so now I'm going to go back into the darkest of the three colors which is the tea berry and I'm just going to come back over and just do some quick little pulls towards the center just to give it some of the darker color on top again and if you feel like you need to go back over it or add more paint just add the paint as you go no special way of adding it to your brush just you know add it like I showed you and you can layer this you know do this kind of layering you know, until you're happy with the way it looks You wanted to come back over it with even some of the lighter pink again you could do that I'm not going to do that I'm happy with the way it is so I'm going to leave it be now it is really wet so I'm not sure how this is going to work you could let it dry a little bit or hit it with a heat gun but I'm going to take my little dauber and I'm going to put it into the two paints I'm putting one side into the dark of the two which is the school bus and then one into the bumblebee so there's a little bit of both on each side and I'm just going to come in here into the center and I want to make sure my hand isn't too much in the way and you can keep loading it and adding to it if you want I'm going to leave it like this I like that look but if you wanted it to be real precise you could go back over it and add more paint to your dauber and keep going I'm not going to do that because like I said I like the just the real um, loose painting now I'm taking my liner stick it into the paint and rolling it about if I want to stick it into some white I can or even some yellow I can do that as well and then I'm doing one stem so I am going to add a little bit of yellow to this just so that you can see it a little bit better. Kind of hard when it's on a, a green bottle to see when you're painting greens. So I am adding a little bit of extra paint color so that you can see it. And then we'll just bring that in here. I just I don't like everything to be straight. I don't like the stems to be straight as you know, put a little curve into them. But just remember, it's your painting, so however you want it, create it that way and make it yours. And I'm putting some color on here so you can see it. And by having a variation of color, um, you know that gives it some interest as well so I'll just put a little bit down here like this and come up here pull some out from the top I just want it to be real f free and whimsical doesn't have to be difficult and my designs are not as you can see if you can hold a paintbrush you can paint my designs in most most cases they are not difficult and that's by intention uh, it's by design because I want you to be able to do it all right so there we go then I'm going to take the number 12 flat brush basically do about the same thing put one side into the green uh, I don't mean that's the same thing, but I'm I am going to double load and if I want to put some yellow in here I can or some white but whatever, whatever you want to do if you want to just Add it to make it interesting. You can do that and then kind of like I did the flowers I'm just going to do just some very 
light touch and pulls basically because I'm just touching pulling it back I can do it fatter or very simply and as I'm doing that if I feel like I need to come back over it and add some lighter paint to it so you can see it you can do that too I mean I'm sure your bottle is not necessarily going to be light like mine so I'm just kind of just very whimsically placing these and if you want to make them thicker you can just like your your uh, petals of your flower if you want to press down further but I'm just kind of lightly touching kind of pulling them out just to make them have some interest here then I'm going to go back to my liner brush put it in to the greens again I can put it into that which is the bumblebee and then I'm just going to take the brush and come through here and do some quick quick lining I'm just attaching the leaves to the stems but just very softly I mean if you want to add some extra little pulls that come out from the stem you can do that too you know and if you want to leave them to where they you know are just kind of hitting the glass and not attached to the stem you can do that too I just kind of like to follow you know finish it up and just have it just loosely very loosely attaching come over here and do that come up here sorry if my hand gets in the way it's one thing with being a left-handed person it makes it a little challenging when I'm doing videos to remember that sometimes it's hard for you to see these I'll go up here it's one reason I like this brush too it's just very very easy to use and then, like I said, if you want to just come through and do, you know, some little pieces that come off the stem, you can do that. Just kind of fill it in, fill it out. Up to you. And if you want to leave it off, you can leave it off. But there you go. Very simple, pretty, and very easy. All right. I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you give me a big thumbs up new to my channel please make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and prior to leaving if you would take a moment to hit the share button underneath the video share this video with with your family and friends on your social networks i would certainly appreciate you doing that until the next time thanks again for stopping by you stay safe and healthy and you have a good one see you next time